Hello students and welcome to Top Scholars. Today we'll be talking about another very very interesting topic that is non-infectious diseases. The very first disease, what exactly are non-infectious diseases? These are diseases which do not occur due to infections. They do not occur through infections and body contacts. Let us have the first example that is cancer. Students, cancer is one of the most scary and very, very fatal disease. Students, in cancer, there is uncontrolled and abnormal growth of cells. This uncontrolled growth leads to formation of a tumor. The tumor can be malignant, meaning a group or lump of cancerous cells. It affects the lungs, can affect the mouth, tongue, stomach, breast, liver, uterus, skin and the blood. So, cancer students can occur absolutely anywhere in the human body. Moving on, let us now take a look at some causes of cancer. The most common causes are consumption of tobacco and gutkha. Even smoking tobacco can cause cancer. Which cancer do you think it will cause? Smoking can cause lung cancer. Moving on students, alcoholism may lead to cancer of the stomach, intestine or even the liver. Lack of fiber content in the food may also eventually lead to cancer. Other causes include excessive consumption of junk food and even heredity. That's right student, you may carry certain genes which may lead to cancer eventually in your life. Now, let us take a look at the symptoms of cancer. The very first one, chronic cough. Students, chronic cough is one of the symptoms which is seen in lung cancer. Moving on, hoarse voice, difficulty in swallowing, incurable scars or wounds, inflammation are some examples of the symptoms of cancer. Lumps in the breast and unexplained weight loss. Students, now let us take a look at the modern diagnostics of cancer, that is the ways for diagnosing cancer. The first one is CT scan. Students, CT scan is something which is, I can call it an advanced version of x-rays. Next, we have MRI, which stands for Magnetic Resonance Imaging, wherein a machine containing a huge magnet is used to obtain images of the body. Next, we have mammography, which is used to detect breast cancer. Next is biopsy. Students, a biopsy is a procedure wherein a small part of tissue is obtained from the body and then this tissue and the cells of the tissue are studied under the microscope. This is done to detect cancer. To learn more about this topic, Download Top Scholars app.